So yesterday was absolutely hilarious, guys. I have a clip to play for you from court, from the middle of a trial where a judge is laughing at Donald Trump and his legal team over the absolutely absurd arguments they're making. You have to listen to this and then we'll come back and break it down. Mr. Fox, I, I hate to jump right out here, but I, have, I, I meant to ask you about this in your, when you start your argument. You, you make a, a rather startling assertion in your reply brief on page two where you say, uh, notwithstanding their allegations and insinuations of conspiracy, investigations by the FBI and the Senate Committee on Government Affairs and Homeland Security rebuffed their contentions of wrongdoing by Trump administration officials. What's your basis for that assertion? Uh, that's a, a, a public article um, from lawyers with respect to the, the quoting the FBI. I mean, it, the, the citation's right in there. Um, okay, so you, you, you cite an article, and, and by the way, it's, the article says the FBI has found scant evidence, but, I mean, the last, the, la the fact that something, I mean, is that, that's the only support for that statement? The, the support in the, in the brief, Your Honor, and that's, 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 I think the bigger point here, though, is that, you know, there are, there's no limiting principle to these questions, and finding an answer... So I know the audio quality is not great there. I did the best I could, but it's the best source available. But you can clearly hear that the judge is not buying the argument from Trump and his team. And in the middle of that clip, basically, maybe a little bit past the middle, she is clearly laughing and does her best to hold back her laughter because judges aren't supposed to laugh at the lawyers in front of them, at the people in front of them. But she's only a human being because the argument is ridiculous. Remember, all Trump lawyers have is one article saying that Trump isn't guilty or there's not enough evidence to say that Donald Trump and his team have played a direct role in January 6th and the judge is like wait a second where are you getting this information oh it's one article and it doesn't even clear Trump it just says there's not a lot of evidence yet and she says is that all you have and she's literally laughing at Donald Trump and remember this is the trial that Donald Trump is trying to use to keep his presidential document secret to try and argue that he has retroactive executive privilege and Joe Biden doesn't have the right to open up documents from before Joe Biden became president. Now, the judge just made it very, very, very clear that she is not buying it. Most of the legal reporters that have been examining this have said, look, maybe some of the Trump documents that he's trying to keep secret will be kept secret. Some of the older ones from earlier in 2020 and before that. But by and large, this judge has made it very clear that it's perfectly reasonable for Congress to ask for documents related to January 6th because it was clearly connected to the broader Trump world. And Congress has a vested interest in knowing what happened, even if Donald Trump isn't ultimately connected because the event happened in Congress. Like the attack didn't happen at the White House. It didn't happen on a Trump property. It didn't happen at the Supreme Court. It happened in the halls of Congress. And so Congress has an absolutely reasonable interest here. So Donald Trump's lawyers are absolutely flailing. And it might not even be because they're bad lawyers. It's just that it's a stupid case from their stupid client. All they have is one source not even saying what they say it said. And that's why the judge is laughing at them. My God, this is glorious.